For 15 years, Dana King was one of the main newscasters keeping the Bay Area informed. She left the airways in 2012, but in her current incarnation, she says that she's still telling stories just in a different way. I talked with her about why she says she is now the happiest she's ever been. Good evening, I'm Dana King. In World News Tonight, teenage inmates in California. You likely remember Dana King from her work in Bay Area News, but that's old news. This is Dana King today. You know, I hate being interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> she has moved from award-winning journalist to a nationally recognized sculptor. I've always created. I've always done art. I open a bag of clay and I smell it and I'm just... I'm in the zone, and it just is a place of peace for me. It is quite a contrast from her 25-year-long journey in television, 15 of those years in local news. I do not miss working on news. I miss that adrenaline rush. I miss that excitement. But I, I'm so much happier and so much more <laughs> at peace with myself and with life and not living on a clock. When off the yeah. news set, her life was much I'm, more than I, I a straight-laced news anchor. King won a number of medals for rowing, used to ride motorcycles, lived on a houseboat in Sausalito, and was a union rep at work. She's been called competitive, tough, and definitely non-traditional. I come by it quite naturally. My mother was her own woman. My mom was a white woman who married a black man secretly in the 50s, then became a widow, left to raise two brown children in the 60s by herself. But when she turned 50, she joined the Peace Corps. She left TV news in 2012. I will stand and fight for what's right for this community. And two years later, ran for Oakland City Council. That's the craziest thing I have ever done, run for office. I live in East Oakland, and my neighbors were getting pushed out. And I ran because I wanted to advocate. I am so glad I lost. Had I, had I won, I wouldn't be doing my art. She doesn't paint anymore, but much of her early work, this one is called Ballot or Bullet, had social themes. So it's like she started taking art classes while still working in TV, but it became her main passion after a decision she made unheard of at the time for women in news. It started with my hair. As silly as that sounds, when I let my hair go gray, I, I felt authentically in my own body for the first time in my life and I was 50 at that time. I would take courses in the morning because I worked at night and I would rush to the studio I'd be all filthy and change my clothes and um, but about halfway through I took a, a sculpture course and that was it. Dana King has a number of art installations and displays around the country and here in the Bay Area including here at Golden Gate Park Monumental Reckoning. This is the beginning of decolonizing Golden Gate Park. This is the first sculpture that isn't Eurocentric. The first sculpture created by an African-American woman. My hope is that other cultures will come into this space and inhabit it as well. Well, I want all people to feel comfortable in here. The theme of her sculpture work is black bodies in bronze, including this statue of a civic leader in Berkeley and this installation at the National Memorial for Peace and Justice in Alabama. One of her most recent commissions, a bust of the leader of the Black Panther Party, Huey Newton, and more to come. I told stories for a living, right? And they were on video or uh, digital or whatever, and if you missed them, they're gone for the most part. The bronze pieces are permanent. So the stories of the African descendants that these pieces represent will last and be told as long as the bronze lasts. And that could be thousands of years, right? And at this point in my life, and to be able to do that in my own studio is a blessing.
Divorced with two adult children and a five-year-old grandson, King says she is loving being a grandmother. Monumental Reckoning will be set up at Golden Gate Park for another year and a half, and the dedication of the Huey Newton bust was just a couple of weeks ago at Huey, Pete Newton Way, and Mandela Parkway. And she is so happy right now. You know, and good for her for good that. Good for her for that. But to be so talented as a journalist. Yeah. And then, and then have another extra talent <laughs> on top of that. How lucky, huh? I mean, that's really something. Yeah, I think she's got a little gifts going on. A gifts going woman. on there. Special I think woman. we can all relate to not being on the clock all the time. That was one of the things when we were talking that I was like, boy, I get that. Because, you know, we were always like, what time? we got to hold five, yeah. 30 seconds. Hurry up. Bye, Dana. i got to go. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Great story. Great. Thanks, thank, yeah, thanks. It was great talking with her.